guys i hope you're all well and um, welcome back to my channel i'm so sorry that i have not been consistent at all with filming as most of you are aware i recently got married and the whole planning process for me personally was so stressful so i couldn't imagine getting behind a camera to film i just did not personally have the time. I know other people can balance it out, but for me, it was just too much. Um, I'm just gonna get straight into this video. So a lot of women and young girls have personally messaged me. Most of the questions are all kind of pushing towards the same thing, which is, you know, waiting on God or what to do whilst you are waiting on God for your husband. So um, obviously I'm not a pro, like my whole like journey to dating and getting married was not straight you know I did flop a bit with decisions in the type of guys that I went for and I'm just um, sharing with you what I wished somebody had shared with me in terms of waiting for waiting on God for a spouse um, you know by his grace so one I would definitely say is just use the waiting time then to wait in period as an opportunity to draw closer to God and I personally loved my years of singleness obviously I love being married now but I'm so grateful that you know by God's grace I was really truly able to enjoy the period of being single I spoke to you guys in one of my previous videos I'm happily single how I was so obsessed with the idea of getting married that I didn't really appreciate my time with God and you know God by his grace taught me that you know he is the only one that can truly satisfy my heart and with that I was able to get alone with God more spend more time with him and actually be content in my singleness it wasn't always like that I was very discontent at that point but God brought me to a place where I was genuinely content with um, being single and in that I really did take the time to spend more time with him and you know I don't think single people understand how much of a privilege it is like their singleness because when you're married like the bible even says it like your attention is now divided where when I'm single like I can have devotion when I want where I want how I want when you're married you've got other needs now or your spouse have needs now that needs to be met so I would definitely say appreciate and use the time that you are single to spend more time with God, um, more time getting to understand and know who he is and also learning who you are through him. And yeah, that is a huge blessing. Um, secondly, I'll also say um, use the time whilst you are single to actually pray for your future husband. It might sound silly, but that's something that God laid on my heart to do. So I started praying for my husband in 2014. I hadn't even met him yet. Um, but God really laid it on my heart to pray for him. Um, I started to pray that he would be around more godly men. I started to pray that God would help him with anything that he might be struggling with at the time, you know, whether it was, uh, I don't know, self-esteem or pornography or anything, like things that God would place on my heart to pray for this man that I didn't even know yet. And again, it might sound silly, but if you desire marriage and, you know, by God's grace, it will happen, that means realistically that your spouse is out there somewhere, whether you know them or not. So I genuinely believe that God teaching me and laying it on my heart to pray for my now husband really kind of prepared me for him when we did meet. And also it allowed me to identify the man that I'd been praying for because when I did meet my husband, there were certain things that I had been praying for concerning him that I found through conversations that you were actually legit the person that I've been praying for, do you know what I mean? And whether it was personal issues or whatever, just things that God had laid on my heart, I understood that actually this was that person's reality at the time. So I would definitely encourage you to just get alone and pray for him, whether it is that he, wherever he is right now, you know, that God would encourage him, and God would just place him around godly men that will sharpen him, that God will prepare his heart for you and continue to prepare your heart for his. I genuinely believe that, you know, praying for your spouse 
it goes a long way. There is a book that in, that actually encouraged me to pray for him. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I will put it in the description box below. Um, but that was a really, really, really good book. It was about two, it was a, it was an account of two different women, a real life account of two different women who had been praying for their husbands and just the whole journey and the process and it was just so sick but yeah definitely um read that book um whilst you're single i'd also encourage you to like just become a better version of yourself like um i feel like a lot of us place this proverbs 31 woman on a high pedestal but you know she's great she's amazing but what are we actually doing to kind of mirror her attributes as godly women and I feel like, like I've said before in one of my previous videos, a godly man wants a godly woman. So if you're praying for a godly man, you yourself have to be that woman that is going to attract him. So definitely work on just becoming a better version of you in Christ Jesus as an individual as well. Like save more and just learn how to manage your finances and stuff like that. Um, being patient, I think patience plays a huge part in all of this, like the waiting process, because there were times where I could, where I, I was so impatient that I really could have settled and just ended up being married to somebody who probably, who's not saved. And that is the worst thing I believe you can do to yourself as a woman, as a child of God, is just totally missing God because of impatience. There's nothing wrong with waiting. Like the Bible says that he who promised is faithful. You know what I mean? Like he, God cannot lie. Like if he has placed a natural desire on your heart, I believe that by his grace, if the Lord tarry that, and it was, it was the will of God that it will come to pass. So um, another thing I'd encourage you to do whilst you are waiting on God is not to compromise. I have, personally been in a position where I've compromised because of the desire to get married and you just end up in a really bad relationship that does not glorify God or whatsoever and it's just not worth it and I would just definitely encourage you to um, not compromise and this is why I think praying for your husband helps because when you know the qualities the godly qualities that you are praying for in him when you meet a man that does not meet these qualities for example just the basics of even being saved then you just know actually this is not the person that i've been praying for at the same time this doesn't mean that we should just be unrealistic with our standards you know nobody's perfect but i believe that when you know what you are praying for and the criteria of a man that you are praying for then you will not settle for a man that falls short of things like that. For example, when I was praying for my husband, you know, I, I, I pray, I don't want a man who has anger issues. Do you know what I mean? If he has anger issues, then that's not for me, you know? And along the way, I met guys who had anger problems. So I instantly knew that God is faithful. That is not the person that I desire. You are not my, so um, just things like that just not compromising because it's just not worth it because you might not see the fruits of your compromise now but it will start to manifest itself as your relationship progresses and yeah just don't compromise whatsoever yeah definitely do not compromise it's not worth it trust me <laughs> it's not worth it i've never met a person who has compromised <coughs> in their relationship or even dating that has said yeah they'd do it again. Most people, including myself, would wish they had never gone down that road. So do not compromise. It's not worth it. Uh, yeah, just just stay faithful to God, whether that is serving in your local community or church. Just, just stay faithful, stay serving, and just don't think too much about it. Like, when you think too much about it, then any guy that kind of you know you meet you just instantly jump on the bandwagon of is this my husband and it can be a bit scary i think to some guys when especially they know that you're so on marriage i think it can be a bit of a put off and i'm saying that because me myself i've been that girl <laughs> so um 
yeah just try not to think too much about it like god i feel like society has put this stamp on when when we should get married but you know whether it's culture or whatever like you know for example I'm, I'm nigerian so in a typical nigerian household it is do your facial studies get a degree get married literally like that so by the time i was like 24 25 and i'm not married which by the way is still very young you know my mom bless her she's on my case and i feel like we shouldn't allow those pressures to get to us because that is a human notion of the time frame of how we should do things but we forget that actually god is the one that holds time in these hands so once you understand that concept of time you're not going to fall into the trap of you know doing things in man's timing but rather we'll trust god and actually believe in his timing and wait on it and i'm so grateful that i waited on god's timing because like i can't imagine being married to anybody else besides my husband um honestly like is literally God's hands written over even down to how we met it's just God completely and I'm so grateful that he graced me with the patience and strength to wait on him because for me personally it wasn't easy but it was worth it and I just want to encourage you guys um you know if you desire marriage and you're waiting on God like just keep trusting God like God is faithful he holds time in his hands like don't think about your age like God is faithful, do you get what I'm saying? And his timing is nothing short of perfect. And I believe that God will meet the desires of your heart according to his good and perfect will. But we just have to trust him. And even if it's not, you know, marriage that you're waiting on God for, maybe it's a job or a child or I don't know, but just trust God and just believe that he who promised is faithful and if it is according to the will of God for your life I believe that if the Lord tarry it will come to pass so we just have to you know bear that in mind it's very easy it's very you know easy to have unbelief and I thank God for his words you know that even in our unbelief we can pray like God I believe but help my unbelief right. I just want to encourage you guys you know just keep trusting God keep waiting and um I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.